Hi developers, in this video we'll learn how to create CI CD pipelines for a Java application using Azure DevOps. We'll start by the CI pipeline where we'll take a sample Java application that uses Spring Boot, then we'll run the command maven clean package. This command will degenerate the package which is our jar file. Then from the CD pipeline, will deploy this jar file into an application running on Azure. I'm Hossam Delay, Microsoft MVP. Join me in this video to show you a demo on how to create this pipeline for Java application. Let's first start with the application source code. Here I have the application opened in VS Code. My application is a Java application that uses Spring Boot. For that here I have a controller this controller have an endpoint for index. This index will just return a message saying greetings from Spring Boot. So this is a, like a static web page that will return this message. With this application, we have an integration test. For that here, if I go to my controller test Java uh, file here, I, I have here my uh, test which will go try to invoke that endpoint URL for the index. Then it will make sure that the return is uh, 200 OK. And then it will check that the message displayed in that page is the one saying greetings from uh, Spring Boot. So this is a pretty simple uh, unit test to start with. When we want to build this application on our local machines, what we do is to run the build uh, or the maven command. If you want to use a maven or you can also use um, a gradle or whatever. Here with a maven, we use the command maven clean package. And then we give it the path for our uh, pom XML file. The pom XML file is the file that contains the configuration and all the information required by Maven in order to uh, build the uh, application source code. I have already pushed this application into a GitHub. For that here, if you go to this uh, GitHub repository, you will find the application's uh, source code. And that's the uh, first step required in order to start creating the CI CD pipelines. We can call it as the, the step number zero before uh, start creating your pipelines. Now we want to start creating the pipelines. So we have many tools available on the market today. We have tools like Avair, CloudBees, CodeFresh, CodeShip, Go, we have also Jenkins, the most known, Travis CI, Steam City, and many more. And today I'll be using the Azure DevOps or Azure pipelines, which were uh, created by Microsoft. So to start with using Azure DevOps, you can go to visualstudio.microsoft.com and from here you can pick Azure DevOps, formerly VSTS, and you start creating a free account. It's free to use up to uh, five users. I have already done that. So now I'm logged in into my Azure DevOps portal. And from here, I have some projects that I have uh, created before. And now I want to create a new project for my Java application. For that here, I have this blue button, create project. I'll give a name to my uh, project. I can give a description for my project. Then here I choose uh, to um, the visibility for my project to be public so that people can see the uh, CI CD pipelines, the uh, logs coming from those pipelines. Then I'll go and set create. Here Azure DevOps started creating a project for my uh, application. This will take some uh, seconds. So we'll wait, then I'll join you later. Once the project is created, from here, what I can do, I can go to this menu where here I have uh, pipelines. And from the menu pipelines, we have builds and releases. The builds are for defining the CI 
pipelines and the build the releases are for defining the CD pipelines. Let's start with the builds. So I click on builds. Then I start creating a new pipeline. And from here, Azure DevOps will ask from where you want to get the application's source code. So our application source code could be on GitHub or on Azure repo inside Azure DevOps itself. Or it could be in any GitHub Enterprise uh, version. My, my code hub is, or my code source is on GitHub. For that, I'll choose here GitHub. We need, Azure DevOps needs to get access to my GitHub account. It needs to talk to uh, GitHub REST API. For that here, I need to create a connection between Azure DevOps and GitHub. The way to do that is here by clicking this authorize using a what button. This will display a pop-up and here all I need to do is to, um, to connect to my GitHub account. It is already done for me because I have already connected before. But for you, you will need to grant access to your uh, GitHub uh, account. Once that's done, now I can uh, get access to all my GitHub repositories from within Azure DevOps. And here I'll go and choose the, um, the repository I want to use for this demo, which is this one here with this name. So I copy its name then and look for it right here. Copy the name, I find the repository selected. Once I have selected the repository, I still get uh, the option to uh, select a branch. Here, because in some cases we might have like a master branch, but also a dev branch and some other features, branches. And in each time we want to, uh, to merge the feature into the dev, we need to pass through a pull request. So Azure DevOps here supports this uh, scenario. But here I continue with the master branch, then hit continue. And from now, we'll start creating the CI pipeline. Here, Azure DevOps have two main options. The first one will use the configuration as code. This one uses the YAML files in order to define all the steps needed in order to run the CI and the CD pipelines. So we can put all this configuration into a YAML file. But Azure DevOps has another a feature or another um, functionality which is defining those pipelines with visual tasks. So I have a UI where I can see all the tasks that will run inside my pipeline. For that here, those are, for this second option, I have many um, templates available here. If I'm using a .NET framework application, then here I have a template for a .NET application. If I use an Android app, here I have a template for that. The same applies for if I'm using uh, Docker containers or if I have a Python application and even if I have a Node.js application or iOS application or Xamarin applications. In my case, here I have a Java application. For that, I'll go and choose Maven. Some other people might want to choose Gradle to build their uh, Android applications. Here, I'll continue with Maven. So I select Maven and click Apply. And here, Azure DevOps generated a pipeline for me. Let's see how, what, what is the content and the configuration for this pipeline. So first of all, we have uh, the global configuration for the pipeline, which here will specify the agent pool. The agent here is the machine that will run my pipeline. Because we want to run the command maven clean package, this command will run inside a virtual machine. And it is the agent that will control the execution of the pipeline inside a virtual machine. So from here, we have different agents available. We'll ha we have uh, agents that could run on Windows virtual machines or Linux or Mac OS. Why we have different ones? For example, if I have iOS application, I need to have a Mac OS machine. 
And if I have a .NET framework application, I need to have on those machines. So we have this option for you. But if you have .NET uh, Core, for example, you can use any of those machines. The same if you have a Java application, you can build it on Java, on um, Windows, Linux, or, uh, or Mac OS. Here I'll go and choose uh, hosted Ubuntu, for example. You see also here we have different um, versions for uh, Windows machines. We have ones that have Visual Studio uh, 2015 installed or Visual Studio 2017 or 2019. And if you want to use Windows containers, then you have a virtual machine that have um, Windows uh, containers uh, runtime installed. Now we have configured the agent that will run the pipeline. After that, we need here from the parameters to specify the path for my pom.xml file. This file contains all the configuration needed for Maven to build and run the unit tests in my uh, Java application. So I can go and click on this button here to access the repository for my application. So I can access the same files that are in my uh, application. Then I will go and specify the path for my POM file. Here it is inside my app folder. And I will go and select it, POM.xml. So the path will be set to app slash POM.xml. After that, I have another section here for get sources. So this one will try to get the source code from uh, GitHub as we have already configured it. Then we'll uh, start the, uh, running the job inside the agent. So the agent here, because we want to uh, run um, or to build a Java application using Maven, we need to make sure that Maven is installed on the agent or on the virtual machine. That's why we have here a section called demands. So it will check if Maven exists in my virtual machine. If it doesn't exist, it will tell me that uh, this virtual machine cannot uh, run your pipeline. So you need to choose another virtual machine. After that, here we have the main task that will run the command maven clean uh, package, which is here the command called maven. We have the name for this uh, display command. Then we have the POM file that we have configured it from the uh, pipeline section. Then the goal here is to generate the package. And then we have the option to, um, to publish or to run uh, tests using GUnit, using Maven. So I'll do that. Then here, Azure DevOps by default have created a test results file, which will be uh, an XML file that contains the um, the uh, results for running the unit tests. Then I have some other configuration section for code coverage. So here we can use either Cobertura or Jcoco in order to run uh, code coverage uh, for my app. Here I run Cobertura, for example. We have some other available options like for uh, do for specifying the Java uh, home if you want to. Uh, if you want to have some uh, custom uh, build environment. So those are the main configuration I need to make. So this task will run Maven clean install or Maven a clean package in order to generate the jar file and run the unit tests. After that, from the CD pipeline, we'll need to get this jar file in order to deploy it into Azure Web App. So to pass this jar file from the CI pipeline into the CD pipeline, we need to put it inside a shared folder between the two, which is called the artifact. That's what we'll be doing by those um, following two tasks. So first of all, we'll take the jar file, we'll copy it inside another folder in my local agent. Then I'll copy that jar file into the artifact. That's the role of this publish build artifact task. So this will take the content of the uh, folder that contains my jar file. Then it will publish it into a, a drop folder inside the artifact. 
So here I'm specifying the name, it should be a drop. Then here, the, the artifact, um, uh, the artifact here could be a file that is, or a folder that will be uh, saved by Azure DevOps, or you can also use uh, a file, another uh, file share system. So this is our CI pipeline. Now we are ready to run it. So to start running this pipeline, I'll go to this button, save and queue. Here I have the machine that I have specified, then I'll click save and queue. Now Azure DevOps started uh, running this pipeline and here it gives me a link to follow the execution of this pipeline. So I open that the link in a new window. And here I see that my pipeline started running. So first of all, it will uh, provision uh, an agent for me. Those agents run on virtual machines on Azure. So it will try to get a free agent for me. It gets one, then it will run uh, or it will get the application source code from GitHub. For that here, it will run the uh, Git uh, check out to get my uh, master uh, branch. And that's what it is doing right here. After that, it will start running the uh, task for Maven. And here it already started running uh, Maven clean install. So from here we see um, um, the console window from the agent that is running my pipeline. And we see it here in real time. And within a few seconds, the commands were uh, run it and here it ran the unit tests and it ran the tool to uh, for the code coverage. So now our pipeline did run in just one minute and 29 seconds. If we go to the summary window here, we can see a summary about the uh, execution of the pipeline. So we'll be able to see that we have inside our artifact folder, we have the a drop folder that we have created that we should that should contain the jar file. So if I go to view the content from here, you should be able to see the uh, jar file for my uh, Spring Boot application. But in addition to that, it have generated another uh, folder that contains the code coverage results. So if I open this folder, we can find here some uh, HTML files that contains a summary about uh, code coverage for my app. Because we have also run it some unit tests, so we can uh, see the results about running those uh, unit tests. So here we see that we have one unit test and it did run uh, successfully. So this is about our CI pipeline. Now let's go and start creating the CD pipeline. From the CD pipeline, what we want to do is to get that jar file from the artifact, then deploy it into a web app inside Azure. But first of all, let's start creating a web app inside Azure that will host my uh, Spring Boot application. Here I, I am inside uh, the Azure portal and I go and create a new resource. I'll go to web and I'll start by choosing a web app. I give my application a name. I call it a Spring Boot or Java Spring Boot. Then I'll choose to create a new resource group. I select my subscription. I use for Azure, then here I can use either uh, or I can run my Java application either inside a Linux virtual machine in Azure or Windows virtual machine. Here I'll continue with Linux. We can also deploy a container if you want. Then we have another configuration for the runtime stack. Here for uh, Java, we have different versions. So we can use Java 11 or Java 8. And we can also use Tomcat as an application server. Here I'll choose Java 8 using Java uh, server, um, standard edition. Then I click create. And here uh, Azure started provisioning a web app 
for me so this will take just a few seconds then i'll be able to see uh, my application uh, running once the web app was created i can click to go to see the resource and from here from within the overview window i can go to uh, click a browse to open my web app in a new window and here you see the web app that we have created in azure for now it displays a default uh, page configured by azure which shows the uh, java version and some other uh, information about my application now from the cd pipeline i want to deploy my java application into uh, this web app so that will should display the uh, greetings from uh, spring boot i'll go back to azure devops and here i go to the menu to select releases I'll open the releases window and a new window in my browser. And here I click the button new pipeline in order to create a new uh, CI pipeline. We have here different uh, available uh, options or templates to create a CD pipeline. So depending on what type of app you have, Azure DevOps will give you um, a template to start creating your application. So here we have templates for uh, deploying Java applications into Azure, or deploying Node.js applications, or deploying into My MySQL, or deploying a Python application. We can also deploy into a Kubernetes cluster because we have the right task for that. And if you if you are using IIS and SQL database. SQL Server, then you have the right task to do that. We have, we can also deploy into Service Fabric, we can deploy uh, functions, we can deploy Go application, we can use Helm for deployment and so on. So we have a, a large set of uh, tasks available to support uh, all your cases. Here I want to deploy into an Azure App Service. So for that, I will choose this first task, then I click Apply. After that here, it asks for the uh, name of my environment or my stage. Here, I call this one my uh, production. Once that's set, now I go and add an artifact. And the artifact here is the, uh, is the uh, folder from where my CD pipeline will get its uh, dependencies or uh, the things it needs in, in order to deploy. In my case, I need to get the jar file. So the jar file uh, or the artifacts could be the output of Jenkins or the output of uh, Team City. It could be inside a Azure or inside um, a Docker uh, registry like Docker Hub. And it could be also uh, a file from GitHub. Here in my case, it is the output of my build pipeline because it is there where we have deployed or published the jar file into the artifact so i'll select the build then here i need to specify which build i'm using here i only have one so i'll select it then i click add now from here my cd pipeline will get the jar file from this uh, artifact and inside this cd pipeline I can click here to the to view the job and my CD pipeline will try to uh, get the jar file and deploy it into a web app on Azure for that it needs to connect to my Azure account so from here I uh, click this uh, select here in order to specify which Azure uh, account I'm using here I have already um, connected to my Azure account so that here I can see uh, all the subscriptions I have in Azure I'll choose the one which contains my uh, web app. Then I'll go and authorize in order to let Azure DevOps connect to um, Azure REST API. So it is almost the same thing uh, that we have uh, already uh, did with uh, GitHub. I specify my account, my username.
once that's done now uh, Azure uh, DevOps will be able to connect or to talk to Azure uh, API um, so that it can get uh, information about the, the application that I have already deployed into Azure. Once it is connected, now I can go and fetch uh, my Azure account to get the web app that runs on Linux because I have chosen uh, my web app to run on Linux. I select that, then from app service name, I can click here to get all the web apps that runs on Linux inside my Azure uh, subscription. And here I select the one that I have created for this demo, Java Spring Boot. So this is the configuration to run this CD pipeline. Now if I go to run an agent, from here we'll be able to choose the agent that will run the CD pipeline. Here it could be uh, different agents that runs the CI and CD pipeline. It's, it shouldn't be always the same, uh, the same agent. So here I would, for example, I'll, I'll choose hosted VS 2017. For this demo, you can choose whatever agent you see here. All of them, they have the requirement in order to run this uh, CD pipeline, which should be the Azure CLI. It should be installed on that machine because it is the Azure CLI that will try to connect to your Azure subscription and deploy the application. Remember here always, it is always um, the CI and CD pipelines are a set of commands. And we need to always think about uh, those required uh, commands. What we used to do manually before, running Maven uh, uh, clean package or the uh, Azure CLI commands in order to deploy the application, now they will be automated from Azure DevOps. So this is the configuration we need to make. Now if I go to the task itself, to the configuration of the task, we can see that here it will connect to the Azure subscription that I have configured my, for my environment. It will connect to my web app that I have created. Then here it will go and look for the package that I want to deploy. By default here it is con configured to get uh, the package inside a zip folder. That, but here I go and change that by clicking this button. Then I will go and look for my uh, jar file. For that I will go to inside the drop folder and from the target folder, I go and select my jar file. Select OK, so now it will get this, um, uh, this uh, path. For this task, we have some other uh, available options. We can, for example, uh, change the configuration settings. This is useful if you want to change the connection strings used by your application. So you can um, customize this to, to use some specific connection string for your dev environment and another one for your uh, production environment, for example. So this is all the configuration needed in order to run or to deploy my application into an Azure App Service using Azure DevOps. Now we are ready to run this pipeline. For that, I'll go and hit save, okay? Then I'll go and click the release button and create release. Then I'll go and create or I click the create button and here Azure DevOps again gives me a link where I can follow the execution of my CD pipeline in real time so that I can uh, see the uh, logs coming from my uh, the console of the agent. Here Azure DevOps uh, look for an available agent it found one and now it is trying to connect to that agent. It will send the configuration for the CD pipeline to that agent. So that agent could uh, uh, read that configuration and run it one by one. And now here we get the uh, output from the agent. So it started by provisioning the agent, downloading the artifact from or the jar file from the artifact, then uh, here it is also uh, downloading the other uh, files from the artifact. Then it started running the task for deploying into app service. But we are done successfully. So now my web app is deployed. And if I go click on the deploy Azure app service task, we can see that here it tells me uh, that 
it was successfully updated and my app was deployed into this URL Java Spring Boot, Azure Websites.net, which is the same URL we have used here. So now if I go to refresh this URL, I should get my message greetings from Spring Boot. So it was this simple to create CI CD pipelines for Java application using Azure DevOps to build the application and deploy it into Azure. I want to show you another option here that we have and to, to create the uh, CI pipeline. So if I go to try to create a new uh, build, I'll go and create a new build. Here we'll explore the first option that uses the YAML configuration files. The YAML configuration files, we use those in, as, a, um, as part of the configuration as code. So from there, we'll be able to um, save all the configuration for the CI pipeline. So from here, I can go look for, uh, let's specify uh, a repository. I specify the master branch and here from YAML, from here I'll be able to go to uh, use the YAML um, option for creating the pipeline. For that here, all we need to do is to specify the path for my YAML file. Let's go and do that. Here my app, you have already saw that I have created this Azure Pipelines uh, .ci uh, YAML. If we go and take a look at the content of this file from here, we could see that uh, it is a YAML file and it contains the uh, information about the configuration for the agent I want to use. So here I tell it to uh, use the Ubuntu agent. And then I have the configuration for my YAML or for my Maven uh, task. So here uh, I have the, uh, I, the ID for the task. Then the uh, path for my pom.xml and then this task will understand that it should uh, run the uh, maven uh, clean package then i specify the code coverage tool option here so i have already specified kubertura and then the following two tasks i want to copy the files into uh, a local uh, folder then it will publish those local folder into the drop inside the uh, artifact folder. So this is the content for my YAML file. I can use that same configuration here. I specify it, tell OK. Then I go and save the configuration. And now as you see here, Azure uh, DevOps starts uh, started um, running this pipeline. And here I don't have any tasks as we have uh, created before because the configuration for those tasks are now part of my YAML file. So all my configuration is inside the YAML file. This is useful because I can go, uh, my YAML file will be a version controlled. So it is, it lives inside my application's source code. And here we can see the execution of this uh, CI uh, pipeline. So we'll get the same execution and the same results as we did before. Here, the, uh, the YAML file we use it here is the equivalent of Jenkins file, if you are already familiar with uh, Jenkins. And we have many uh, CI CD tools that support those uh, files as part of uh, configuration as code. And from within some few seconds, we'll be able to see uh, our pipeline will run successfully. Another thing I want to show you here is that in order to generate those uh, uh, those YAML files, you have here the option of view YAML. So if I select my agent, I go to view YAML, I'll be able to see the, uh, this pipeline exported into a YAML file. And here Azure DevOps can do that uh, automatically for me. So here I have the same content for this YAML file, the same content as I have used in my uh, repository. I hope you found this tutorial uh, useful and if you want to get more videos about uh, Azure DevOps and uh, CICD, here I have in my YouTube channel, I have created some other uh, videos about how to uh, add your database to the CICD pipelines, how to run Selenium UI tests, how to you and how to deploy into Kubernetes and so on. So if you are interested, go and subscribe to my YouTube channel.